Oh, hey, welcome to Will It Digest. Well, we asked what you'd like to see digested, and somebody suggested, well, a plastic water bottle. And I have one right here. So before we get started, today's plastic water bottles are often made from polyethylene terephthalate, or PET, as it's commonly known. The structure of PET looks like this. PET is a polymer with an aromatic ring. This makes it very stable and difficult to digest. In the past, sulfuric acid had to be added to nitric acid in order to get a total digest. But with the iPrep vessel, we can now digest the sample in nitric acid only. This will make the digestion and analysis cleaner and much easier. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, that's not going to work. So, like any proper cooking show, I already have some PET cut up. Keep in mind to use uh, non-metallic scissors like these ceramic scissors that we used when we did it. So I'm going to take about 250 milligrams of sample and we're going to put that directly into our eye prep liner. Yep, that looks about right. You know what, let's just add another pinch. And here's our 10 mils of nitric acid that we're going to use. All right. And now we're going to go ahead and cap this up. And go ahead and torque it. And this sample is ready to go into the microwave. Okay, now that we have prepped our last sample in our iPrep, we're going to go ahead and put it in the, in the microwave. We've got a total of three samples in here. And we're going to select our PET method, hit start, fire in the hole. While the samples are digesting, let's take a cruise down the information superhighway and learn about the history of bottled water. Water was first bottled for sale in the United Kingdom's Holy Well bottling plant in 1621. The water, of course, was bottled in glass. The practice grew more popular with bottling of mineral spring water across Europe and the U.S. in the 1700s, since natural springs were believed to have healing and therapeutic effects. For this reason, bottled water was only sold in pharmacies until the 1900s. Again, the water was bottled in glass. Plastic bottles were first used commercially in 1947, but remained relatively expensive until the early 1950s when HDPE, or high density polyethylene, was introduced. They quickly became popular with both manufacturers and customers due to its lightweight, superior resistance to breakage, and lower transportation costs compared to glass bottles. In 1973, DuPont engineer Nathaniel Wyeth patented polyethylene terephthalate, or PET bottles, the first plastic bottles able to withstand the pressure of carbonated liquids, thus creating a much cheaper alternative to beverage bottling than ever was possible with glass. A downside to this is that by 2016, more than 480 billion plastic drinking bottles were sold across the world and less than half were collected for recycling. So please remember to do your part. Reduce, reuse, and recycle. Now that our samples are cool, let's go ahead and vent these off in the hood. And now we're going to do our dilution. Okay, now that uh, our sample has been diluted, let's take a look, see how well we did. Well, 
This PET with nitric only, clear, colorless, and particle free. So, can we digest a PET water bottle? Is excess carbon dioxide produced when oxidizing an organic matrix? Yes, and yes we can.